sa kapagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, Gikan sa MTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Urban sa mga balita sa alas 12. Cebu City, magsugod na bako na sa mga senior citizens. Karong adlawa, 40 ka mga panimay ang naugdaw huma sa sunog sa barangay Tabok na Kumayan sa Mandawi kagahapon. Mayong odto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyo sang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, magsugod na ang dakbayan sa Sugbo ug bakuna sa mga senior citizens ug una nga bakunahan ang senior citizens nga nagpuyo sa Barangay Mambaling o Barangay Mabulo ning syudad sa Sugbo, sugod karong adlaw. Ang mga senior citizens ubos sa priority code ito nga ang Robinson Galleria, ingon man ang University of Cebu UC Manila gihapon. ang gamiton ng vaccination sites. Si Kunsyal Dave Tumulak, mayingon na kuhaon gamit ang uh, mga bus, ang senior citizens, gikan sa pick-up area, sa nisgutan ng mga barangay. Ang taga-barangay mambaling, bakunahan kini sa Robinson's Galleria o ang taga-barangay mabulo, bakunahan o sa Abdiya sa UC Banilad. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas, ang dakbayan sa Sugbo, doon ay 39 kabagong kaso. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health, samtang dakbayan sa Mandawi, walo, lapo-lapo, 18, lalawigan sa Sugbo, 39, Negros Oriental, way bagong kaso, si Kihor, Osa, Bohol, 27. Sa Kiratibukan, maabot sa 132 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus, din sa Sarion, 7. Bags of Hope nga programa alang sa mga kabos nga pamilya sa hilit nga bahin din sa Dakbayan sa Subo gilusad ni Adtong Domingo kung gagapong adlawa. Subay gihapon kini sa pagsaulog sa kakinyentos katuig nga kristyanismo sa Pilipinas. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mereros sa Garino. Nagpadawat og mga food box o kinsintinial cross ang usa kagatos ka mga kabus ng pamilya gikan sa bukirang barangay sa pamutan ng syudad sa Sugbo. Kinisubay gihapon sa pagsaulog sa ikakinintos katuig sa kristyanismo sa Pilipinas. Ang non-profit organization ng Five Loaves and Two Fish Incorporated Cebu kon FLTFI Cebu gilusad ni atong Domingo ang ilang proyekto nga Bags of Hope nga tumong arong matabangan ang mga kabus ng Sugboanon nga gikan sa hilit ng mga lugar. Ang mga unang pamilya nga nakadawat sa Bags of Hope gikan sa hinterland village sa Banan ang pamutan kinsa sakop sa Mary Help of Christian Parish. Si Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma ang nangu sa Santos nga misa ug bendisyon sa mga volunteers sa FLTFI Cebu nga gitahasan sa pagpanghatag sa mga bags of hope sa mga benepisaryo ni ini. Ang proyekto subay sa pagsaulog sa ikakinintos katuig sa Kristiyanismo sa Pilipinas nga opisyal nga gisugdan ni adtong Abril 4. Si Palma sa iyang humilya naghatag og pasalamat sa mga tawo nga nagpaluyo sa inisyatibo sa Bags of Hope. Giawhag usab ni Palma ang mga magtutuo nga madasig sa paghimo sa susamang buhat. But today, we know and we are aware of the feeding and the medical programs parishes here. But today, we just would like to, to of course, thank Federal Sato Fish Incorporated for the launching of the Dags of Hope Initiative. Why do we say that? Because we hope and pray that similar movements may, may also be Uh, done by other associations. We know there are other movements, other other activities. But the whole idea is all along and all throughout we know we have to pull. People have to, to be trained, to, to be hard, to be aware of the importance of 500 by Jose. And we have to celebrate joyfully, meaningfully, and fruitfully as what we have done. But we also have to leave a legacy, especially for those who may not be able to follow us on live stream or Facebook. 
and this is what we're doing. Ang matagbag of hope adunay sud nga lima ka kilo nga bugas, mga pagkaon o quincentennial cross. Ang maong mga cross gipanalanginan usab ni Papal Nuncio to the Philippines Charles Brown sa panahon sa Pontifical Mass pag commemorate sa first baptism kani adtong Abril 14 sa Plaza Subo sa Cebu City. Samtang matod sa FLTFI Cebu nga dili baligya ang maong cross apan mamahimong makaangkon na si Bisan Kinsa nga modunar og duha ka bags of hope nga nagkantidad og milk 4 diin ihatag usab kini sa duha ka mga pamilya nga kabus nga adunay sud nga food bags og quincentennial cross. Mary Rose Grino, CCTV News. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Lavilla niyawag sa kadagkuan sa Department of Works and Highways kung DPWH nga makikalayon kanila may tungod sa ilang plano nga magtukod o mga proyekto o bus sa iyang jurisdiksyon. Giklaro hinoon sa mayor nga dili tungod kay supak siya ni ini tungod kay kung makaayo o mas daghan ang makabinipisyo iya ha pag kini nga suportahan tungod kay makapalangbo man kini sa siyudad sa Subo. Suma ni Lavilla nga kinahanglan nga doon ay tarong nga koordinasyon tali sa siyudad o sa DPWH sa ilang mga proyekto nga buhaton sama sa flyover. Apan di Karo Sab nga wapay opisyal sa maong departamento nga naging atubang kaniya o sa mga sakop sa konsiho. Wapagyapoy na dawat na suwat nga tubag si Mayor Edgardo Labilla gikan sa kalihim ko na sekretary sa Department of Public Works and Highways na si Mark Villar kalabot sa iyang hangyo nga magpada og mga eksperto dinhi sa syudad aron masuta ang functionality ingon man ang structural integrity sa underpass niya sa Mambaling na porisyo ang mga motorista sa maong dapit panahon sa pagbunok sa kusog nga uwan sa lit bahaon gayud ang maong dapit og dili na maagian nagkanayon ang mayor nga ang pagdangop niya kang bilyar kay alang sa kayuhan sa tanan ilabi na kadto na porisyo sa maong dapit panahon nga magbunok ang kusog nga uwan Kurinta ka mga panimay ang naugdaw o 313 ka mga individual ang nawadaan o pinoyanan human sa sunog ganit tabo sa barangay Tabok, Dakbayan sa Mandawi, kagahapong ang lawa ang kasayuran iatod ni Mereros sa Garino. Di mumino sa 103 ka pamilya o 313 ka mga individual ang nawadaan o pinoyanan human naugdaw ang 40 ka mga panimay sa nahitabong sunog sa Upper Tabok, Barangay Tabok, Syudad sa Mandawi, Kagahapon. Ang mga pamilya gihiklin karon sa gymnasium sa Barangay Tabok. Sigo na Kapitan Dario Tariman nga ilang ikonsidera ang pagdeklarar og state of calamity sa Upper Tabok na nawagan usab si Tariman sa mga tao nga ganahan mudunar og pagkaon ingon man mga sinina nga mamahimo nilang i-drop sa Tabok Barangay Hall. Giasoy niya nga ang Social Welfare and Services Office sa Dakbayan o ang barangay naghatag gilayon og mga pagkaon alang sa mga nasunugan. Nagapod-apod usap og relief packs ang CSWS nga dunay bugas, dilata, mattress o guban pa. Giban aban ang anaas sa 280 mil ang gibiling danyo sa sunog. Sa tala sa Mandawi City Fire Station, nadawat nila ang alarm alas 8.53 sa buntag o gisa kangad sa third alarm alas 9.06 sa buntag. Ang sunog na kontrolar alas 9.50 sa buntag o napaong alas 10.40 sa buntag. Sa pag Uto ning maong balita, matod sa mga investigador sa sunog na wala pa nila mahibawi ang hinungdan sa sunog. Apan matod ni Tariman na base sa reports gikan sa mga residente, ang Osaka Transformer sa Osaka Utility Company sa lugar ang ning buto o gilayon ang sunog. Mula mga ni fluctuate ang korinti wa. Dahil ni puto, mula mag nadunga ng impact. So mula dya dahil ni cause ang kuan ang sunog. Pero layo ora ba ya? Pero di pa gina sa inyong final kayo. Ang mudiklear gina na. Ang kung amang yun, ang ato maging bureau. Kuat ba na sa ila pong findings? Kung ang yun sa transmission yun sa kung ang break ko. Maray, maray na kung ang na. Primero na na kung ang na happen ba. Putol sa kung ang transformer. Kaya na putol man ang transmission line niya. Kaya na kusubiya na transmission dito. Ang sunog sa tabok mauna ang ikaupat nga alarma nga gitaho sa syudad ning Buwana. Ang unang sunog nga nahitabo ning Buwana kani adtong Abril 1 nga niugdaw sa usa ka hardware nga nahimutang ang subay sa ML Quezon Street sa Barangay Magikay. Ang ikaduha mao ang sunog sa DTS Lambert sa Zone 1 J Mayo Street sa Barangay Kanduman o ang labing uwahi nga nahitabo ni adtong Sabado nga niigo sa stack room sa ikaduhang andana sa hangout building nga nahimutang sa Barangay Ibabaw Istansya. Mary Rose Garino Sistan News. Mau kento 
ang mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iya katong seri ko rin tayo siya tayo karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manokad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Lunch of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freed men, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and, deba and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit which he spoke. Then they instigated some man to say, we, had, we have heard him speaking with blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him and seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified. This man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? 
Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading today brings to mind our innate capacity to search for God. St. John tells us, when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. Why were they looking for Jesus? Were the people prompted by mere curiosity? It is probable that they were hoping to see more signs and miracles from Jesus. Let us not forget that the Jewish messianic expectation was evident in the time of Jesus. We can surmise that these people who searched for Jesus did not have a clear motivation. But interestingly, Jesus himself clarifies things for them. He who sees the heart of everyone pointed out the deepest longing of every human heart, which only God can satisfy. Jesus told the people, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. These words of our Lord continue to be relevant today. We search for Jesus, but we don't always know what we are looking for. We search for Him in the sacraments because we think we need to comply with the norms of the Church. We search for Him in prayer because we think it is necessary that God should answer our every petition. But in light of the gospel, we come to realize that we search for Jesus because deep within our hearts, we feel the need to be saved. And only God can save us. We search for Jesus because we long for eternal life that this world could not give. St. Augustine beautifully summarizes this innate longing for God in a prayer that is contained in his autobiography. You have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. My dear friends, what do we search for right now? What is the longing of our hearts? For more than a year now, people have been wrestling with this pandemic. We search for meaning. We seek anything that reminds us not of death, but of life. This is the reason why many people are engrossed in planting vegetables and ornamental plants. They fondly call themselves as experts, plantitos or plantitas. Other people also make an effort to go to the mountains and to the seaside to see these breathtaking natural wonders. In the end, deep within our hearts, we don't only want to escape from the humdrum of isolation caused by this pandemic. What we truly long for is that which reminds us that life is beautiful 
that there is meaning despite the pandemic. This is the reason as well why people continue to seek online masses and spiritual webinars. We search for meaning. In the end, we search for God. My dear brothers and sisters, as we try to be creative in finding ways by which we can cope with the negative effects of the pandemic, we should never forget another important detail from today's gospel reading to accomplish the works of God. COVID-19 has challenged us not only to be creative in dealing with a health crisis, but also to be proactive in helping those who are badly affected by this pandemic. I remember a friend of mine who told me, Father, I'm sharing this portion of my blessings to the poorest of the poor. Indeed, she played a vital role in our feeding program before and during this year's Holy Week celebration. As we continue to offer this Holy Mass, as we prepare ourselves to receive the bread of life, Jesus Christ our Lord, we thank Him for awakening in us this innate capacity to search for Him. And as we encounter Him, may our motivations be purified that we may perceive His abiding presence in our daily life and that we may continue to find Him not only in prayer but also in the least of our brothers and sisters. Let us all rise for the intercessions. As one people of God, we offer to him all our petitions, and so we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may awaken in her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the longings of the heart cannot be satisfied by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who spend their time uselessly searching for joy and happiness in the wrong way may find the right direction in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the only one who can satisfy the longing of every human heart. Inspire us that we may continue to imitate your Son, that we may be life-giving as we receive his body and blood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Midifil, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Nicholas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.